Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Suge and Lynn Show. I'm Suge, and this is the shit Lynn. And this is Bridget from TikTok. Yeah, hey, y'all. Hey, Bridget. Yes. I probably should have asked you this. What's your last name? Uh, Null, N-U-L-L. -L. Okay, Null and Void. She's on, um, <laughs> she's on TikTok, if y'all don't already know that. Yep. Um, yeah, but she's under um she's under Bridget B R I D G E T underscore five two nine is how you find her. That's right. I'm really original because I came up with that name because it's my first name and my birthday. So <laughs> oh, okay. That's see that's why I keep Lynn around because she knows everything. Okay. Yeah. Now, have you been uh, following me all this time? You didn't even know my username. Thanks, friend. I knew Bridget. Okay. <laughs> that's all he knew. <laughs> do you even know adam on her tiktok her little profile what it says mm -mm. it says just here to make you laugh don't take it serious that's it says what it. just here to make you laugh don't take it serious oh, that's right. people take stuff so doggone seriously <laughs> oh. everything 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 the only reason I know Lynn's whole name is because she puts it on every damn thing. Lynn meets Manly. Lynn meets Manly. I'm like, damn, everybody knows. <laughs> and I want them to. And I want them to. Well, you know, I'm, I've, I don't have my last name on my TikTok. And I keep checking for myself on famous birthdays and it's never up there. And I think it's because they don't have my last name. So maybe we can fix that right here. Yeah. Okay. Hey, look, I, I didn't know I was birthday. on. I didn't know I was on famous birthdays either. And they was like, do you want to send a picture? Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> exactly. I Let me send person. them the picture for I, you. I done took care of it. Because <laughs> I done sent the one I have for your profile on my phone. <laughs> um. So, Bridget, yes. we're so excited you're here. Well, thank you. I'm excited to be here. I've been waiting on this all week. <laughs> okay, but listen. So, Adam doesn't do any of the questions because he doesn't do research, if you just saw that. I, I, I realize this. I, he's the technical, and you're the show, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but now I got lots of questions. Ask right. away. Nothing's right. off limits. I got lots of questions. All right. Let's go. I can do it. So it's going to not be in any kind of order, okay? It's okay. Okay. Adam, you can stop me anytime you have a question. I will. Since you didn't do your research probably don't know a damn thing to ask okay anyway um okay so tell us a little bit about yourself your family and how you got started on tiktok okay well my name's bridget i live in north carolina i live near charlotte i'm just going to hear the big city because you nobody's gonna know my city and uh i'm 52 i've been married for 24 years to the same man um i would like to trade him out sometimes but unfortunately i can't do that and then I got four kids. I got three natural kids and one bonus son. My bonus son's the oldest. And then I got three grandbabies and, and my fur baby Ruger. That's my that's my favorite child. And right. They love you no matter what, and they don't talk back. That's they don't right. Talk back. That's exactly right. Okay. So how did oh, you get started? Wait, you asked me how I got started on TikTok. <laughs> I want to tell you that story. Now I so, say she's like Adam. She can't remember everything I asked at one time. <laughs> oh, listen. Ask, ask Holly. I can't remember shit. So uh, we're going to okay, talk about so, Holly in a minute, too. Go ahead. Yeah. So anyhow, we, we was at Pigeon Forge back in 2019. The end of 2019 is Christmas. And my daughter was upstairs, and I kept hearing this same sound go on repeat. Like, da na 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 da na 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 And it was over and over and over. I looked at my husband. I said, like, what? in the hell is she doing? He said, I don't know. So I go up there and I walk in the bathroom and she's standing on the toilet and the sink and she's doing this right here and dancing. <laughs> I said, what the hell are you doing? And she said, I'm on TikTok. I said, what is TikTok? She said, it's a new app. And I said, oh Lord. So I listened to her record all weekend. So she was so excited because every time she said, I got a thousand followers, I got 2,000. So she's up to five, 6,000 followers. So I decided to join. That took her months <laughs> to get that. I decided to join. And I said, well, I'm going to get on there just to watch you. And she said, okay. And so then I seen her and I started recording some videos and I got like five followers. I was like, I got five followers. And I said, I'm going to pass you. And she goes, mom, you're not going to pass me. And I said, oh, yes, I am. 
I passed her with flight, like, whew, like just way past her, and she quit TikTok. She was done. She ain't done it since. I was she just missing the ass. <laughs> she said, I'm done. I'm not doing it. You know it. why? Because you stole the show. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I have. Yep. Okay, so can you remember, because I did not look back at this, because you have too damn many videos to go through. What was your very first? Do you remember your very first video? Like, that went big? Oh, that went big? You got to realize, when I come on the app, you could count how many people were on here. Like, you knew, everybody knew each other. Um, and a lot of them are not even on here anymore. So you got but, on before COVID? Yeah, I got on in 2000, December 2019. Oh, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. But... Um, I didn't put a lot of energy and effort into it until probably this past year. I just didn't, maybe last year and this year. But anyhow, um, I don't know. The first video that I, yes, I can remember the first video I did. And that popped off. And I, it's, I, it's not up anymore. And I really can't talk about it anymore because it's so bad. I had to fight to keep that video up. Really? Right. <sighs> oh, God. It was, it was bad. Let's just say it's bad. <laughs> That's okay. We can stand on here, but you will be telling me and Adam. I, I will tell y'all later. I will tell y'all later. Okay. So, what is your... Okay, so you came on at the end of 2019. Adam, she wasn't too far ahead of you, though, because you came in in 2020, right? Yeah, probably during the summer or the end of summer. When COVID was real big and everybody was doing it. And I didn't come on till like mid to end of 2021 and adam and i talk about this all the time because if you came on during covid your account grew quickly if you wanted it to yeah but like me and mabel mabel's my mom um of course you know that but anyway um we have to work for what we get i mean not that y'all didn't work for but i'm saying it's hard well you gotta think i've been on it since 2019 and and i by the time everybody was getting on there really hot you know, into 2020, going into 2021, I was already kind of getting a little bit of burnout. I'd already been on it a year. And I was already getting like, well, I don't know what to post and I don't know what to say. And, you know, you had all these new people coming on here that was just kind of flooding things. And so I fell out of doing it for a while. Like I would only post a video here and there. And that wasn't the way to grow on TikTok. But that's what I say, probably 2022 and, and this year, I've, I've, been active on it more had i done that in the beginning you know in the beginning i did but back then it was those dumb videos just you was voicing over you know what i'm saying right. you, couldn't, you didn't talk yourself now i credit the getting on here and just talking i don't again y'all hadn't been you know followed everything but i credit the getting on here and talking and just doing your thing to crazy alex because yes. she was one of the first ones that came on and was just like look i'm not I'm not talking i'm not doing these dances but i'll talk to you and i'll tell you about my day i, think I can't she do no said, I can't do yeah. dances or voiceovers because I can't do it. I can't yeah, remember I what they're going to say. Yeah. Yeah, I can't I know, remember I what they're going to say. Because <laughs> I'm still trying to do the one that says, um, hold on, because I made this note. Um, wait a minute. Because wait a minute. <laughs> uh, I, I was going to tell you. That's one of them. About loose as a goose? Yeah, because I was going to say you were, because I wrote this, lip singing, you are good. I'm still trying to do the one about, it's tomorrow Friday? Loose and goose? I can't even get that. <laughs> I can't either. Because <laughs> I went back and watched a lot of your videos over the weekend to do this podcast, and I'm like, I gotta see what all she's done. And I said, Damn, she's good at lip syncing. Oh, thank Brid you. I got a question for you, Bridget. Go ahead. What's What's the strangest thing that you've done on TikTok to get followers? <laughs> I, I slept on. I lied. <laughs> I slept on live, you know, because everything runs through a phase. You're like, right now you go on live and it's the AI stuff. Yes. <laughs> Well, back then, everybody was sleeping on live, and I thought, well, why not? So I did. And I'll never forget one of my followers and my friends. She's a mutual with me. Her name's Darcy. And she hit me up. And she's like, you were sleeping on live last night. And I was like, I know. And she goes, why? And I said, <laughs> to get followers. And she said, that's what we're doing to get followers? I'm good. You know, like, she was out. She was like, no, I'm not doing it. So... It was, it was kind of a, it was far, far stretch, but believe it or not, overnight, I would gain a thousand followers overnight. Just watching you sleep. Yeah. See, I want to do the AI so bad, but I, I can't get the balls to do it. <laughs> I would like to, but I think, I don't know if any of my followers would be like, yeah, I'm out on this. I'm, I'm done. Yeah, they would. <laughs> Mine would too. <laughs> See, I'm just not sure I could watch you sleep, Bridget. That would creep me the hell out. <laughs> 
Well, the thing was, I would snore, I would fart, I would burp, everything. And people would tell me on there, they'd come back the next day and be like, you farted on your live. I'd be like, I have to go back and watch it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is hilarious. Okay, Bridget, you see that me and Adam's all over the place. So did we cut you off a minute ago when you were going to tell us something? I don't think so. Okay, good, because... Yeah, we apologize because we'll just come up with shit to say what we had am. Right. Okay. okay. Look, so, I always okay. try to watch too because, like, if you watch when you're talking, like, everybody will light up in purple. And so I'm trying to watch, like, see who's talking so I don't come off. I didn't realize that, that you were purple when you talked. Okay. <laughs> no, yes. I forget. Because, Adam, do you remember when we, um, a couple of weeks ago, when we had uh, Phil on? Mm. Honey, we was talking all over each other. I mean, they watched it, they liked it, but we still talked all over each other. Um, okay, so uh, what was I going to ask you? Okay, please, for the love of God, tell me where you choose your friends. Who in the hell calls it chicken and pastry? That's what I said. That's exactly what I said. Um, and apparently, apparently it's more than Holly. And supposedly there's a different way to fix it, but... It killed me every time we was on the phone. She'd be like, I'm going to run in here and get me a bowl of chicken and pastries. I was like, it's dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I just, I, I don't know. I just, but she tried to explain the difference to me. She said dumplings is you drop in and the the chicken and pastry you do something else with. I don't know. I, it, it Adam totally is sitting here like, Adam is like, what in the hell are we talking about? Can y'all explain? <laughs> I'm going to let Bridget explain this one. Okay. You know Holly, right? Yes. So yes. She, she'll always tell me what she's having for supper. So one night she's like, I'm having chicken and pastry. I'm having the mashed potato. I don't remember what all she named because I got stuck on chicken and pastry. And I was like, what, what is that? And she told me everything that was in it. And I said, honey, that's chicken and dumplings. She said, oh, no, chicken and dumplings is different. This is chicken and pastry. And I'm like, I don't. I've never heard it called that. So I, I went on TikTok and asked everybody, and you honestly, there was a lot. It was more people for dumplings, but they were split. Some people were saying chicken and pastry. I think that's a northern thing. Even though she's not from up north, I, I don't I don't know where she come up with that at. I really don't. So is that the same thing? It, pretty much, yeah. It's just it's just dough in in the the chicken and the broth and all that stuff. It's the chicken See, and dumplings I, to me. I can't do dumplings no more. I used to eat them when I was little, and um. As I've got older, I've got more familiar with them. Yeah. And um, so I cannot eat boiled dough and chicken. I just cannot do it. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not it's not my favorite either. I, mm -hmm. I, I can't do it. I'm a texture person. When I eat, I, it's a texture I have to have. And, yeah. And, and smushy dough is not my texture. I don't like, I have rolled out dumplings uh, many a times in my life, and I hate them. Mm-hmm. So I don't eat chicken and dumplings, but I may have to go put a video on to see if they call it chicken and dumplings or chicken and pastry. Because yeah. I, you know what? I may even have to put that on my business Facebook page and just see what the answers are. <laughs> I have to go back and watch the entire video because I'm like, where in the hell is she getting this shit from? Can I tell you another controversial one that you can ask your people that I wasn't aware it was even a thing until I got on TikTok? And I swear to God, if one of y'all tell me this is you, I'm going to die. Do you know there's some people that stand up to wipe their butt when they poop? Didn't know I, that. Yes. It's a thing. And they think we're crazy for sitting down to do it. But I'm I feel like, like my ass up? would be more together when if I was standing up. Like I wouldn't That's get it I, real good. It'd be, like, <laughs> it'd be like squoosh. Then you'd have to be wiping it off your butt cheeks. Yeah, I just don't feel like that's a good combination. <laughs> So the, big, the bigger question is, where in the hell did this come from? Again, that was one of them debates that was going around on TikTok, but we was all <laughs> like, one guy, one guy was sitting there and he goes, well, I went to the bathroom and I, I, I took a dump and I had to stand up and wipe. And then if somebody was watching the video, they stopped and they said, wait, stand up and wipe, what? You know, and so that started a whole debate. Yeah, see... I've been I hadn't seen that one, but I do love the debates. But I need to go where you're watching debates because they're way better than the debates. I was gonna say, what side of TikTok are you on? <laughs> Jesus, Jesus knows because he's watching. <laughs> he does. Speaking of, speaking of, I, you know me. I ran to watch the video that you yeah. did, with Adam. <laughs> yeah. And by the time we got done with it, I'm like, my God, she's a porn star, I guess. Because <laughs> oh, I, I have a wonderful story for y'all on that one. 
Do so, say. yes, my husband's a truck driver. So, you know, in order to keep it spicy, you know what I'm saying? I send him pictures every now and then, okay? Well, you got to think back years ago, you had flip phones and th phones wasn't as easy to reset as they are now, blah, blah, blah. So my, my oldest born son, his name's Brandon, and he comes to me one time and he goes, Mom, I broke my phone. Do you have a spare phone? And I said, <laughs> yeah, I do, but I got to clean it out. So I'm going through and I'm cleaning it out. You know, I think I get it good and clean. Okay. Now he's in high school at this age. Oh, God. So he comes home and he tells me stories like, mom, mom. And I said, what? And he goes, you didn't get your phone all the way cleaned out. And I said, why? And he said, I was going through something. And he said, all of a sudden this picture come up. You was sitting in the bathroom and you had it above you. And he said, luckily you had on a see-through white shirt. And he said, I just threw my phone at that point. I didn't want it anymore. <laughs> My eyes are burnt. He said, that's an image I will never get out of my head from my mother. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I really thought I had it cleaned out. And he said, all his friends was like, what'd you throw your phone for? And he said, don't you touch that damn phone. Don't you touch that damn phone. <laughs> now, is, is this the same son, bless his heart? Because I feel like if it is, he's scarred for life that found the foot massager. Yes. That's, that's <laughs> here. I need us. I need to talk about that. That's on here. Could you talk yes. about that, please? Yes. <laughs> What the foot Thank God your thing? kids are grown, Bridget. Are they be calling defects on you? I know. I know. Well, yeah, what it was was um, <laughs> he's an explorer. I, he, my one son, you know, you know all your children's personalities. So my son, Brandon, he's an explorer. He likes to go. He would know where something was before I did. Okay, he knew where my bowls were in there. He knew if I had uh, Q-tips, he knew where they were. He knew everything because he would go through everything. Nosy. So anyhow, he was three, and we well, I was cleaning up one day, and he opened my drawer, and he he had it, and he said, Mama, what's this? And it was my vibrator. <laughs> and I said, oh, quick thinking. I said, oh, the, I rub my feet with that when I when I'm, they're sore, and I sit down on the bed, and I turn on, uh, rub my feet, and I said, oh, that feels so much better, you know, because I'm just trying to get him off the subject. So I turn it off and put it back in the drawer. And his little eyes, he was just looking at it, just taking it all in, you know. And so fast forward three weeks, I didn't think anything about it. And I had went to a Tupperware party in between. And the woman's like, you know how they pressure you to throw a party. And she said, I'll host you a party. She said, I'll even invite some of my friends. Now, this lady at the time, I'm in my 50s, 60s. But at the time, I was in my 20s. So she was in her 50s and 60s and brought all her 50s and 60s friends. And I had some of my friends. And it was going to be a great Tupperware party. <laughs> well, you know, before you do something like that, you clean your ass off. So I had cleaned all day. I stood up and made snacks. I did this and this. So little ears, we had the party. It was just getting going. We all had our snacks. I made sure everybody had their stuff. And I went to sit down. And the first thing I said was, oh, I'm tired. My feet are killing me. My little ears back there. I didn't even think nothing about it. It was three weeks ago. I forget stuff. Here he comes down the hallway, and I heard, eh, no, eh, no. he was cutting it off and on. <laughs> and so the ladies, we were all looking around at each other, like, what is that? You know, because we didn't have cell phones back then. And everybody's looking at each other. All of a sudden, my three year old son comes from around the corner with my vibrator on in his hand. And then women went, oh, and they're all, you know, I was like, yes, and I, you know, I'm trying to sit there and keep my cool. And I look at him and I say, oh, Brandon. And he goes, here, mama, I brought this for your feet because they, they saw it. And so I look and I say, oh, thank you. And I put it on my feet and I was like, oh, that feels really good. Thank you, son. And then women were just looking at me like they could kill me. So I put it behind my back. I turned it off, put it behind my back, and then I just start eating my chips off my plate like nothing happened. And I was choking them down. I was like, oh. you know, I just couldn't get them down. And I don't get embarrassed easy, but this is my child that we were talking about. They probably was wondering, what kind of household is this? Yeah, I don't know if you had what you had to drink there, but I'd have had to hit a bottle of wine or something. Like I had to have something quick. That was terrible. And the, them ladies, they gave me hard looks the whole night, you know, the whole night. Mind you, they didn't hardly order anything because they was like, I ain't helping this bitch out at all. She just <laughs> trying to buy a new vibrator. <laughs> Spending her money on the devil's toys, I'm telling you. What. 
Oh, Lord. You, I wish I could have been there because, you know, oh. them old, you know, older women, they're opinionated as hell. <laughs> they are. And see, I think our generation now, us being this age, we're not like the generation back when we were in our 20s and they were, they were more, I don't know what you call stiff. You know what I'm saying? Don't uptight, you think? yeah. Yeah, uptight, yeah. Pretentious. Because I'm, I'm 46 and I have to remind myself I'm 46 because I don't yeah. act 46. Me either. Mm-mm. I, I don't have 32 either. Oh, Adam, I told, you know what? I lied. You know, Mabel asked me last night how old you were, and I said 33. Oh, I am. Damn. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I'm usually 33. <laughs> I do that all the time. Last year, the whole year, I kept calling myself 53, and then come my birthday, I added it up, and I was only 52. I'm like, hell yeah. I'm a year younger than I thought I was. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're going to start over. <laughs> Um, I tell people all the time, I'm like, I'm 29 or 32, whatever I desire to say. And then I realized the other day I got to quit saying 29 because my son will be 20 in December. <laughs> they and didn't I believe you anyway. You I wasn't having babies at nine years old. Okay. So another thing, um, okay, hold on. Cause I've jumped all over the place. Okay. So I see that you love to color. You mm -hmm. have a TikTok for that. Mm -hmm. When did you start this? I, I got to have the background story to this because those are beautiful pieces that you've colored. Oh, thank you. Okay, so coloring actually started when I was a little girl with my grandma, Helen. Uh, I'd go to her house on Friday night. We would swing by Family Dollar. Uh, we'd buy some coloring books and crayons. We'd, I'd get the big Crayola pack, and we'd go to her house. And then at night after she'd cooked, we'd get in her bed. And she had those lamps that was attached to her bedpost. We would turn those on and we would just color and sing. She was a Christian lady. So we'd sing, you know, gospel songs and stuff like that. And I would sing along with her. And we would just have the best time. And I loved coloring as, as a child. And then naturally you get older, you get away from it. And uh, then I remember when she was in the nursing home, I took her color and crayons and I wrote a big letter in the back of it about how much I loved her and how much her passion for coloring it had influenced me and that I just, you know, I wanted to get that back. So it, while she was in the nursing home, I would go color with her some. And then I, after I just kept on coloring after that because it brings me a lot of peace and calming and stress relief. And it's, it's also rewarding because you're like, look what I created. And I'm also now creating my own coloring book pages. I sell on Etsy. So not only do I color them, I make the pages myself now. Oh, okay. And how do yeah. you get to that? How do what, you get to <laughs> you, you have to use a web program to build, to do the pages. No, I'm talking about plug, plug your Etsy shop. Oh, <laughs> I know we were trying to get I don't to do want, telling you to do it. I don't want to make nothing. <laughs> It's, it's on butterfly. It's called Butterfly Color Haven because I okay. like butterflies. <laughs> I didn't know you had a TikTok page. I see you post them on your Facebook, but I didn't know you had them on TikTok. I do. Yeah, You would have known TikTok. had you done the research. There you go. See, she's I like she's to be surprised. To yep. <laughs> well, anywho, so I got to tell you this. So when, so Mabel's in the nursing home. Um, so Mabel went to assisted living in April and then I moved her to the nursing home two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. She has Alzheimer's beginning and I can go up there and she can be mad as a hornet. Like whatever has pissed her off. You never know with that disease. Mm -hmm. And I can say, you want to color? <gasps> oh yeah. And we'll color. Yeah. She loves to color. Now, she does really good. Um, they had a coloring time the other day as an activity. And when I called her after lunch, I said, what did you do today, this morning? She said, I colored you a picture for your refrigerator. Oh. And um, so Larry's looking at me like, okay. And and that's just the stage we're in. But when we picked it up, because, of course, I went and got it, she did really good. Now, the color scheme wasn't, like, didn't really make sense to the picture. Right. But she stayed in the lines. I mean, oh. I was a proud mama. Oh. <laughs> that is so sweet. Say that, I mean, when you say that, like, the nursing home, they, um, I think they, it looked like they had made copies of it. So oh. I guess they take the coloring books and make copies for the um, the patients or the residents. Right. But um, we have her some coloring books in her room too. But honey, when she's having a hell fit, we color. Well, then I will <laughs> tell you something. I've got some coloring books that are real simple. You know what I'm saying? It's like kitty style coloring books. 
<clears throat> that I collected when I very first started back coloring because I wanted to do simple stuff. I really just branched out into doing the more intricate and de detailed stuff when me and Holly started being friends because I really didn't want to tackle that. And she encouraged me. She's like, girl, you can do it. You can do this. And I, oh, sorry. Bruger shot. So anyhow, that's my dog. That's, that's my favorite child back there. Uh -oh. So anyhow, you know, uh, I ventured out into that, but I've got a bunch of coloring books, Lynn, that I will pack up and send to you to give to your, to you can color oh. with her too. But oh to, my gosh, to give that'll be so great. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much. She would love that. Oh. Because with her, with this, and I hate to say Alzheimer's, I still say dementia, but the doctor was like, it's Alzheimer's, Miss Lynn. I'm like, I get it, but I'm not ready to say that just yet. Yeah. But she has to do simple things. Yes. And, you know, I forget that. Like, I'm I'm, try I'm trying. And yeah. there'll be times I'll be talking to Adam. I'm like, Adam, I don't know what I can do. And he was like, just go with it. Just yeah. do whatever he wants to do. And then what you tell me, Adam. Yeah. Yeah. Just do it's it. It's hard. It's hard. You know, and I had to go through the same thing with my dad. He didn't have dementia. But it's hard when you see your parents and your grandparents that once were your hero and so strong and like indestructible and you start to see them get frail and break down. You know what I'm saying? And it's sad. It's a really sad thing to do, but you, it changes who we are because it changes how we interact with them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like we can't be the same person we've always been with them because, you know, then we were relying on them, counting on them and, and putting, you know, all our energy into them doing stuff for us. And then the tables have got to turn, you know what I'm saying? It's just a different way to, it's just relearning how you, how you interact with her really. Right. Oh yeah. And she relies on me for every single thing. I do have a sister, but oh. she calls me for every single thing multiple times a day, but it's gotten better because they keep her busy there. This sister living, she wasn't busy enough for right. what I think, you know, but she's busy and like, Today, when I called her before I got on here, so I would let her know, you know, if you call and it rolls to voicemails, because I put it on the airplane mode, which I've got to remember to take off this time. But anyway, and I said, did you get your nails painted? I did. They're beautiful. They're, and then there was silence. And I'm like, well, what's wrong? She's like, I don't know the color. And oh. so I said, okay, hold on. So I'm not there, you know. So I said, hold on, we can get it. I said, is it pink? She's like, no. I was like, blue? No. Green? Lynn, I ain't putting that shit on my nails. I said, okay. I said, um, and then something just popped in my mind. And I said, maroon? Yes, maroon. It's maroon. And she got so excited because she couldn't remember it. Oh, uh, But she just, she just gets excited. She likes her nails done. She gets her hair done. I mean, she's a sporty little thing. She just can't remember stuff. Bless her. And she, she does get, like, there's times that she knows she can't remember and she gets upset. And then there's times she really just don't even give a damn. But she will be 80, um, September oh, 3rd. Okay. And we wanted to do a big birthday for her, but she don't want it because she gets nervous with a bunch of people now. Yeah. I guess that's part of this. So right. I said, okay. I said, well, you know, last year, you know, Adam got on there. Uh, he got on there and got me cards. He got his people to send me cards. Oh. Oh. He did. I said, I was thinking about doing that again this year. She said, well, I thought y'all would anyway. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, me and Adam are going to get all of our TikTokers to send cards. Last year, she got almost 300. Oh, well, this year, she's in a private room at the nursing home. So, this year, they've said, you can put them all over the wall. And just oh. like two weeks, just leave them all over the wall. And so, she's so excited. She can give I, a I that's about a party, though. So, we ain't going that route. Uh, I'll make sure I get her address, and me and Holly will send her a card as well. Oh, yay, thank you. That's all she, she told Lynn she wanted for her birthday. She said, I want everybody to send me a card, and if they really want to, they can put in $1 so I can go to the vending machine. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no more than $1. Only $1. Only like one. Little child, you know, I only need $1. Oh, well, we'll definitely do that. That's not a problem at all. She's so precious. And I told Adam, I said, you know, I mean, what do I tell people? He said, you tell her just how she said that. Damn. I was like, okay, Adam, whatever. Um, okay. So listen, Adam, I got to tell you something about our friend Bridget. She has become an old lady. She collects hummingbird feeders and wind chimes. I do. How about that? I do. Her son my, says she's an old lady. My son, the, the, the same son, he uh, he tends to say that uh, if you approach a woman's house and she's got a lot of plants, a lot of knickknacks, a lot of cutesy stuff, there's an old lady that lives in that house. So 
he 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 called me out on it here not long ago. And he goes, Mom, you look like you're getting old. You're collecting too much stuff. You know, I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> so, My yeah, nanny I'm loves hummingbird old. feeders. I know, but they are a lot of upkeep. Yeah. They are. Mama used to have several when she lived here at the duplex with us. But then when I tried to put her one over this, this living, she wasn't having it. So I guess she's over it. But here, it was a lot of work. I wasn't doing that shit. Yeah, I don't do plants do either. Do you do plants too? No, I don't have a green thumb. If you give me a plant, I'm going to kill it. Okay, yeah. See, I kill artificial plants. No, I'm not doing no plants. <laughs> <laughs> not doing it. Um. So Brandon is this same son, right? Okay, so is he like the social butterfly, the bubbly of the bunch? No, actually, he's the opposite. Um, he's my, yes, he's my one child that's, that's to himself. He's a loner. He doesn't like to be in crowds. He has social anxiety. If you ask him to go to Carowinds or you do anything and there's a crowd, he'll do it. But you can just see him that there. He'll jot, his jaw will just tense and let loose and tense and let loose because he can't stand being there. Uh, my social butterfly is my middle son, my my second born, and that's Wesley. Wesley never, he's like me, never met a stranger. Me and him are the most alike, but but, pro, but because of that, we've had the most problems. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, yeah, that, he's, he's, that's my child made over. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this real quick, and I really don't want to touch much more base on it because it's hard for me to talk about. I'm estranged from him right now because... Uh, his his significant other don't care for me, and that's you know she's got she's got the twat and the money, so she's overruling mama right now. But we're gonna leave that alone. All right. <laughs> don't touch that, but I'm gonna tell you right now, she don't know what she's missing because you're a lot of fun. We're glad you're in. <laughs> and you see, that's what she had a best friend Logan, and that was married to uh, Wesley's best friend, and. Um, and she ended up, the Logan was like, girl, she don't know what she's missing. You are a barrel of monkeys. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, well, duh, we know this. Okay, so the, your oldest child is your bonus child. He's a boy, right? Yes, yeah. And then, and then the next one is Brandon, and then the next one is Wesley, did you say? Yep. Okay, yep. so then the next, the, the baby is a girl? Yeah, she's my daughter, Brittany. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. How old is she? She's 25, oh, and she's girl, the one that, she's the one, now my boys, they will not backtalk me. They're scared to backtalk me. But she, on the other hand, will. It's to the point, if she backtalks me in front of Brandon, Brandon's eyes are big, and he's like, get it, mama. You wouldn't let us fine with that. You know, but I can't control her mouth. She's She's got a mouth on her. Right. <laughs> That's, I, my I sister don't hold back either. Uh, you know, that, like, she makes me so mad sometimes, like, if I could just put her in front of my car and just run right over her, I wouldn't even look back. I wouldn't even look back. I wouldn't. Lord, God help us. I told my kids, I said, I love all my kids the same, but I like them different and on different days. Right. That's that what that makes is. sense. Mm -hmm. I am paying attention, but um, I'm trying to read my notes. Oh, I got another one. I took notes. So, Bridget, I noticed you're a little forgetful these days. Hell yeah. What the hell happened with the Hungry Man dinner? And why was you putting it in the freaking ass stove? It goes in the microwave. Well, I don't like it in the microwave because I think it's too soggy. So I put it in the stove so my chicken gets crispy. And I'm we not got really crispy. crispy. <laughs> Ask Holly. I don't know whether it's my age, whether it's my medication. I don't know what it is. But you, right now, this podcast... In, th in 30 minutes after it's over, I'll be like, what the hell did we talk about? I don't even remember. Me. <laughs> well, me and Adam do that, so don't, don't feel bad okay, about Okay, okay, okay. So that's not bad. Yeah, I, if, I don't, if I don't set a reminder, if I don't remind myself 20 times during the reminder, I'm going to forget. That's just about all it is to it. I forget I all the all, time. I was all into your video when you was talking about, oh, what, look what I did. And then I was like, she burnt the hell out of that shit. <laughs> but I ate it. I still eat it. But I couldn't, I just couldn't understand. I'm like, that's the microwave dinner, Bridget. <laughs> well, it says on the back, if you flip it over, Lynn, it says microwave instructions, oven instructions. So it is a, 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 a by cooking. You can cook it either way, okay? Okay, a by hey, cooking. I don't but like I probably cooking. didn't say burn it in the oven. <laughs> my my home there? stove's been tore up since October, and oh. I won't buy a new one because I'm scared Eric's going to make me eat leftovers. Oh, yeah, yeah we don't so. do leftovers. 
Yeah, so I just eat out. And he keeps saying, I need a stove. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Stoves are overrated anyway. They, yeah, they are. My ex-husband, when we got married, he said, there's one thing I don't want to do. And I don't want to eat reruns. I was like, what the hell is a rerun? Rerun. But it was leftovers and he had to eat them as a child and didn't want to eat them. But he quickly realized that on a budget, you had to eat reruns. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so it's the true shit. Um, when you're raising kids, well, Adam, you don't know this, but when you're raising kids, you got to cut corners. That's why I ain't got none. I'm living I'm my best you, life. Adam. Yeah, <laughs> you are. Um, okay. So tell us some things that you have going on and things you have like coming up. Like, you know, what all do you do? So we know about your Etsy coloring. Uh, you really? Have yeah, mainly the Etsy is it's a hobby. It's a hobby that I've turned into potential money. Uh, I don't care if I make any money doing it or not. I just enjoy doing it. Um, uh, me and Holly, I don't know if I should announce it or not, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. We are looking into starting a podcast thanks to you guys because we had talked about it a year ago and we were like, how are we going to do that living this far apart? We didn't even know something like Riverside existed. Um, she had asked me a year ago and I shot it down real fast. I was like, no girl, I ain't got time for that. Mm, I ain't got time for that. And I am it very is much, <laughs> it is, but I'm very much a, my dad was a, an extremely wise man. He raised me by himself. My mother left when I was two months old. So I never had her in my life, but he raised me very practical. Like I'm more, I'm more think like a man because of him. Like I think women are, are, petty and they need too much attention and, and just so many things. I really do. And, and so my dad always taught me never mix business and friends, never, ever, ever. And don't make an exception. So every time she's asked me to do something, I've been, I've shot it right down. Look, we're friends. We'll color together. The rest of it ain't going to happen. <laughs> but when we start talking about the podcast again, I went ahead and agreed to it, but I told her last night, we've already run into a lot of hiccups and she'll ask, she'll tell you. I'm a good person. I have a good heart, but I can be hard to deal with. I can be a bitch. And she saw that side of me. And, but she'll, t she, she'll try to reassure me every time. And I told her, I said, oh, I know. I said, I just know this podcast will go to shit. It will just go to shit. I just know it will. And she's like, it will not because we're doing it. We are doing this. And I'm like, okay, girl, well, it better not mess up our friendship. And she's like, don't worry. It won't. So hopefully it won't. Adam, do you think this has messed up our friendship? No, well, see, I don't really pay attention to Lynn. If I can do it, I'll do it. If I can't, I won't. So, it... uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but let me ask you a question. Are y'all too, like, like Holly said, we need to have our roles and know what our roles are. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you're Adam, you're the technical part and Lynn comes up with the questions, but see, I'm a control freak. So I won't end all of it. Okay, well, see, I'm a control freak, but you cannot micromanage or you will fail miserably. Exactly. And I, I, I know that. I know that that's what's going to happen. Because I know no, that's it's how not. I No, it's not. Because you know the problem, therefore, you you will manage it. Because Adam, Adam doesn't I'm easy. Even, I mean, he really is. But, like, I'll say, hey, I'm going to. I admit that, Adam. <laughs> I'm just easy. It's like, whatever. Is, is that what Eric <laughs> said? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> I started to say it, but I thought I'd be good. But like with um, me and Adam, like a lot of times I'll say, hey, I want so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so and so on the podcast. And he's like, okay. I mean, he's just like, whatever, because he knows he doesn't want to go looking for anybody. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> Holly, Holly is the Adam. She is more easy going, whatever you say goes. But she has noticed if she comes up with an idea, I'm like, mm, I always look at it hard first. Like, mm, I don't even know why you coming up with that idea. What, what's that about? You know, like, I, I think there's an ulterior motive. But it's because I've been shit on so much in my life. Right. I really and have. See, like, I'll come up with a lot of ideas. And then I'm like, okay, Lynn, now put them together. Because yeah. <laughs> we got a yeah. little merch store now and then little t-shirt things. And then we got other things we're doing. Well, so I'll come up with the bright ideas and then she's got to do the hard work. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but let me tell you this, Bridget. So he was coming up, hey, let's do this, and hey, let's do that, and hey, let's do this. So one day I messaged him. I was like, oh, my God, I've come up with something great. Let's do this. He said, can you hold off on that? We need to get other things accomplished first. Listen, you, <laughs> oh, you come up with 12 things. I come up with one, and you're going to put mine on the map, Bridget? So see, see y'all so, so are going through the same thing. You just laugh your way through it, you know. Uh, yes. <laughs> we do. We don't get mad about it because it really is, and Adam said this on a video, but or on his little video, but 
he, we really are blessed, Bridget. We have had great opportunities come our way. Um, he's got a lot of followers. We, me and Mabel only have 40,000, but he laughs a lot because we get emails all the time about, Hey, we, do you want to do this for this commission or this for this payment? He's like, I don't get that shit. Well, truth is he probably does. just don't check the damn emails. Exactly. <laughs> That's me. I get them all the time and I ignore every one of them because, uh, you know, I want to share, uh, products that I like and I use. If you're messaging me to get me to sell a product, I don't care if you're going to pay me $300 or not. I'm not going to get over here and lie to people and tell them it's good when it ain't good. You See, know, that's I'm, me. Not gonna... I'm not. If I if I do something, which I don't, I ain't done, but maybe one or two, like, I'm going to like it because I'm not going to lie for you. Like, exactly. I'm just not going to damn do it. I don't need money that bad. <laughs> We've There's seen no one TikTok that people get on there and lying about products. We've seen what happened to that. Yes. Um, there's, sorry, huh? my battery's going low, Adam. Okay. She um, didn't know she was going to do a podcast at five o'clock today. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, shit, you done made me forget what I was going to say, Adam. Um, shit. Anyway, I, oh, oh, Adam has got one that he's done several times. What is it? Uh, I don't know. Hot sauce, barbecue sauce, somebody sauce. Oh yeah. Alabama swamp juice. Now yeah, I do like that. Adam. Yeah, yeah. But th now they paid him to do that. He doesn't just go on there to try to. I mean, he knew it was good. He wasn't gonna lie for him. He said, "Yeah, yeah." He, um, I told him, you know, to send it to me and let me try it. And if I tried it and I liked it, I will do it. But you know, I would tell him beforehand if I didn't like it, I don't don't send me no money. I'm not gonna do it, you know. But if I like yeah. it, I will do it. You know. Yeah, yeah. That that's right. what I tell people. And I've sent a lot. A lot of people sent me stuff, and I'm like, I don't like it. Hey, there's no way I'm going on there. And they get mad. They'll message me. I thought you was gonna do a video. I thought she. Uh, do you want me to tell the truth? Because if I do a video, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell me shit. Don't buy it. I love okay, when crazy Alex does hers. Yeah. <laughs> When she did that waist trainer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't she, think I've seen that video. You ain't seen it. I, be, her stuff don't pop up as much as it used to on mine. There's one, she's got a waist trainer, and it was something else. But um, Alex was like, she said, no, they ought to know better than to send this to, because Alex, you know, she said she's bigger. And anyway, that stuff just popped right off of her, and she did a video and everything. <laughs> So funny. Listen, I was entertained. Well, so you mentioned that you were watching her kind of in the beginning too, Bridget. When I went yeah. on there, I found her and was watching her. Went through that whole, watching her through her whole um, getting pregnant journey, the whole nine yards. But after she had the baby, her, it entertained me just to watch her bless out people that would say, don't do this, don't hold your baby, don't whatever, whatever. <laughs> she said, I had to work really hard to get this baby. I'm going to hold this baby as long as I damn want to. Right. Well, I don't, and I don't blame her. And that's the problem. I mean, and she's right about that. You know, it's funny because um, when she first come on, you know, we did a lot of videos together. We, we, we grew a friendship pretty fast. So she's, we don't talk as much as we used to. I still love her as much as I did. You know what I'm saying? But we're both busy, you know, life goes on. So right. anyhow, but, um, but the thing was my grandson, every time that my, um, my son's baby mama was flipping through videos and he'd see her. He said, that's Mimi. And she said, no, that's not Mimi. It's I think it's because we talk a lot, look a lot and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Like that Southern uh, accent. Right. Um, she's a lot. Uh, she's really just down to earth. I just love her. Yeah. Um, one thing I wanted you to shout out to yourself yeah. on, what platforms are you on? Of course you're on TikTok. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Instagram. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Lemonade. I heard you talking about that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm on Snapchat. I'm everywhere. I, in other words, if you got a social media app, I'm already on it. Why the hell ain't you following me? <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah. So, that's funny you just said that because Adam, when I first started posting, he said, put that shit on Facebook. I said, yeah. well, I can't because I own a business in my town. It's a small business. Now, this was in 2021, right? 
Yes. And I was like, I, I, I care what people think. And yeah. the other night he said, so what are you doing? I said, putting this shit on Facebook. I don't give a damn what anybody thinks. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> He well, you like, know, well, there you go now. I was like, I don't care. And see, that was me, and I still do this to this day. If I'm recording videos and I'm talking on stuff on TikTok and I'm doing da da da, I'm fine doing it. But when I see or run into somebody that I know and they're like, oh my God, I saw you on TikTok, I'm like, oh. I get embarrassed. I do too. I'm like, shit. Because I'm supposed I to see have, it in real life. I know. And it, I am the same person in real life. Everybody will tell you I'm the same person. Like, but it's just knowing that they're seeing me put my embarrassing shit out there. Like, I will tell you, I got my most embarrassing TikTok. Or the, I won't say it was embarrassing for me, but probably the one that people would say, oh, my God, I can't believe you're doing that, was when I literally went on there and I was like, y'all, I just shit myself. <laughs> like, I told people I shit myself. And I didn't even know I shit myself. That's how I knew I was old. When you walk around <laughs> shitting yourself and you don't even know you shit yourself, that is <laughs> But I did. If somebody was like, you got a problem, you need to go see the doctor. That's a sign you need a colonoscopy. <laughs> but don't tell me somebody ain't never shit their self. We've all shit ourselves at some point. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what cracks me up when people will see me, even at work, and they'll be like, say it, say it, say good morning. And I'm like, y'all realize I'm just in my vehicle with myself when I'm acting stupid. Like, I can't do this in front of everybody. <laughs> I'm shy in real life. Exactly. <laughs> But That's you know what? Nice. I told Adam, so he's done a few stand-up shows, right? And he'll say <laughs> the whole week prior to it, oh, Lynn, I don't know if I want to do it. Oh, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Oh, I don't have it together. Then he loves it. So I said, we need to do the podcast live. So we need to be at places. So you and Holly need to get the shit going, and then we all need to be together just doing it like. We need to go to Adam's show. We can track the view. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we can. I, no comment. No comment. <laughs> be like them, but you know, be like them. It can be all of us. Can we use no, a I know we show be Dr. Reference. Phil, Bridget. Can we do a different show as a reference? Right. Okay, okay. What's the other show? I was trying to think of something with more than two people, like more than more than Steve Harvey, even though I love me some Steve Harvey. Right um, uh, we couldn't be, I mean, so, so who else? In other is words, we can be like us, but four of us. Yeah. A yeah, four yeah, song. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be like the people on the View, Bridget. Damn. <laughs> so, so yes, we can do that, and we can actually. We need to be finding out where Adam's shows are, so we can like show up and show out. <laughs> I don't like shows. <laughs> I, I have to go get so intoxicated. Oh, like I like going to see everybody and meet the people, but like when I'm on stage, oh. I hate what you, it. What do you talk about when you're on stage? I have to write. I have to. I write down everything, and then if I get nervous, I say, "Hold on, let me see what I wrote down." And then I, <laughs> I just, just tell and, stories. And you know what, Bridget? The whole yeah. week prior to, I make sure I don't say nothing stupid, <laughs> say nothing stupid because I'm gonna be part of that damn show if I do. I oh, swear to yeah. God, I write down everything. Mm -hmm. That's what I do at work. Like whenever they say something stupid, because sometimes I talk about the workhouse, and if they see me, they'll say something. They'll see me doing like this. So don't put that on there. I said you shouldn't say stupid shit. Don't don't write it down because we're gonna talk about it. Don't say it because we're gonna talk about it. That's just the way it is. He even has this app now where he can put his notes in there so he can go back and make videos. He's somebody now. Oh, he's yeah. somebody. It's just Notepad on iPhone, Lee, and you got it too. Yeah. I got it too, but I don't put that shit on there. I, I got me a little notepad. Oh, I got me a little book You're right old. here. I hope Jesus don't read my notepad either. I hope you don't read this book or I'm in trouble. They say he knows everything. He, oh, I was cracking up. I couldn't oh. believe you put that on last night, Adam, but then I'm glad you did because Bridges was even more funny. <laughs> Lynn said, I'm glad you cleared that up, I guess. <laughs> um. So what are some of the... um? What are some of the things you hope to accomplish from social media? Like doing your podcasts and stuff like that. Like, do you like to give back to organizations? Do you like to volunteer? Do you like to just stay to yourself and hope to hell nobody bothers you? Like what, what's your, I, I am the most social butterfly introvert you've ever wanted to meet. Okay. <laughs> like I, I can be both ways. I can be, I can one minute. I want to be in the presence of everybody. And the next minute, I don't want to talk to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm a Gemini and that might be because of that. I don't know. 
But as far as what I want to get out to make people laugh, to reach people who have had a bad day, to to and that's the reason I ne- and I told Holly this, uh, Holly this. I do not want to discuss politics. I do not want to discuss religion. Those are hot topics that everybody has a different view of. They're allowed to have their opinion. I'm allowed to have my opinion, but I'm not going to bring that to my social media. Now, if you have a social media that is all about that and that's all it is and people know that that's when they sign up, that's what they sign up for, all well and great. But me, when you sign up with me, you sign up with, I'm going to make you laugh. I'm going to tell you what I'm cooking. I'm going to tell you about my family. I'm not going to interject my political views out there for you because I want to make you smile. And I think this world on a day-to-day basis is already bogged down with bullshit. And I don't want to bring more of it to my page. I want, just like you said, I never want to be serious. I want to make you laugh. And, and, right. and me, when I go out in public and people are like, oh my God, you're so funny. I laugh so hard. I've had people tell me they didn't even want to smile that day and they laugh. And you talk about melting my heart. That is, it's all worth it. I don't give a damn if I never make any money. I don't give a damn if I'm if I'm ever recognized by anybody. Big. Now I will tell you, there's one person I would love to follow me. If I had a TikTok, what I call a TikTok bucket list, you know what I'm saying? And it's funny, Jelly Roll's wife. I love that woman. Oh, oh yeah. Me, I want to be like her when I grow up. <laughs> me too. And she is so freaking down to earth. Like she can meet just us normal, every average, everyday person. And she is with us. She's like, I'm you and you're me and I'm no better. And she don't act no better. And I, I freaking love her. I love mm-hmm. her. Okay. So who's, Liz- your, who's your TikTok bucket list? Who would you want to follow you? Who, me? Yeah, both of you. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, doing the damn interviewing now. Did you know? <laughs> I didn't Wait, realize, you don't ask the questions. I didn't realize that. Like, you flipped the roles here. Okay. Um, well, she would be definitely one of them. Um, it would be her and or Jelly Roll, because I'm a Jelly Roll fan. I'm telling you, his music, it, every person in the United States, in the entire world, 75 countries, what the hell ever, one song can, at least one song, can relate to everybody at, at some agree. point. I'm That's telling true. you, his songs are just, and they're just real, and he's real, and she's real. I just love it. I go to watch them all the time. Me too. They're they're the underdog story that I love, because both of them come from, you know, he was a drug addict, she was a prostitute, and you talking about two people that's come up and said, and they kicked the door up, and they said, fuck this, we're going to we're gonna succeed. They did right. it. You know, they did it. And, and I, they I, never I, think they're better than anybody. They no. never do. They don't. And listen, when I saw the video where Ophelia had went to the concert yeah. and he brought her up there, I mean, I was just crying, just boohooing Me because too. he's so real. And he yeah. just, he, he didn't have to do that. Nope. Nope, he didn't. He did not. Um, sorry. Okay, I'm at 10% if you're wondering, Adam. <laughs> do you um, have a charger, honey? Do I need to send you a charger? Okay, this I is do. normal. This is normal. I will tell you too. The other person I'd love is Chelsea Lynn, which is that trailer trash Tammy. Oh yeah. I love her. I love her. Okay, she Adam. Who would you want to follow you? Yeah, who's your people? Well, um, I don't watch a whole lot of TikToks, but back when I did, um, some of the ones because I don't watch it now, so the ones I liked already follow me. Like I was always when Mama Todd first started following me, I was excited as hell. And then Nanny Ma, y'all know him. Mm-hmm. You know, he's the guy that he dresses up um, and does dresses up like a woman and does them old Southern skits. Never His seen His mama it. just passed of cancer. Never mm-hmm. seen anyway, it. They, I like them. They were cool. But that's what I'm trying to say. TikTok is so big now that there'll be people just like you. You talk about somebody and they're super famous and I'll be <laughs> like, I've, I've never seen them. They've never showed up on my For You page. I don't know who they are. You know, so it's really surprising. And I just have to convince myself that's the reason I don't have a bigger following is because people just haven't found me yet. I know. I Sometimes I get mad. I'm like, don't, I don't get no new followers no more. <laughs> I mean, I was like, I got half a million in one year or less. And then me, now I'm I can barely problem. get. It's me. Yeah. I'm the problem. I, I, it, yeah, because he'll every night he'll say, I, I ain't give a one follower or three followers or ten followers. I don't know what the hell the problem is. And I'm like, so oh, I've done got oh. I've done got addicted to like it don't really matter. But so I'll create new pages like some places I got like to so it's like a game now. I want to see if like I can grow somewhere else <laughs> just to see if I can like conquer it. So there you go. And, and then he'll start, he'll say, What you think about? It? And I'm like, Don't put me in there because I'm not I can't even keep up with the damn little two pages I got. Shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, it, it is hard. And I tend to put the same stuff on all my platforms because you, know, you got some people that's on Facebook that don't want to get on TikTok. Yeah. And you yeah. got some people that are just Instagram users. It's like the iPhone Android debate. You know, they're one of the whatever. I first branched off from TikTok to go to Instagram. In my head, I was like, now I got to come up with something different for Instagram. But you, but don't. you don't. You can you post don't. the same shit on every one of them. Yeah. And. Because you got to think, too, when you post on TikTok, not all your followers see it. It's just two hours for you. You get more views on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. I do. Lynn, did you get that charger? Because we ain't done yet. Okay, I see this. Okay, totally off the subject, I've got to tell you that I am like a humongous earring person. Like, I love earrings. And I have noticed (laughs) your whole entire podcast. And I absolutely love them. Uh Uh-huh. I think I I got them off Timu. Oh, they were like a dollar forty nine or two forty nine. Oh my gosh! I have I, been. Buying- I need to go back and see if they still have them. I'll send you the link. So, have you um, been getting those emails where they want you to um, do reviews for them and send you free stuff? No. They keep sending, them, but I'm scared. Everybody, <laughs> everybody says it was a lie. It, it I get them from all the time, and I'm like, well, the stuff I would buy and review, like nobody's gonna won't it because i'm weird like I, I the order, one you have to watch out for i'm sure but you've been on facebook or y'all both is the ones where people say we'll pay you three thousand dollars a week to place ads all they're trying to do is get your sign in information so they can steal your page mm-hmm. that's exactly what they're doing we learned that didn't we adam yeah like they were saying we didn't do it but we talked to them and then they was like then they realized because my my big page is my personal profile that's the one they wanted and I said, that's not um, a page. It's my personal profile. He hung up the phone on us. <laughs> yeah. He was, done. he was so done. Hey, Adam, do you realize that we've been recording for 56 minutes? This is the longest podcast we've had. I know. It's fun. I know. You bring in somebody <laughs> famous. I'm not famous, but funny as fuck. <laughs> And so Adam and I often say we want to be rich and famous, but I'm the one to be, I'm the one that wants to be famous. He wants to be rich. I just want to be rich. Yeah. But after tomorrow night when I win the lottery, cause the mega millions is like way up there. Um, I'll have the rich part down pat. You know, though, I don't know about that because this is, and I thought about this. Let, let's go to the serious side of this for just a minute. Cause you know, I like to touch base on it. I like to make you laugh, cry and think all in the same conversation. Okay. So my thing is, think about it, though. Think about, number one, I don't know if y'all have experienced it yet, but social media burnout. Sometimes you you have days that you just don't want to post nothing, but you feel like you have to because you want to put something out there. I'll post old videos. Me too. I do that too. But you think about somebody like Ophelia. You think about how much she's gotten attacked. Even though the majority of people love her, not everybody following us loves us. Some of them hate us. And they're waiting to, for their attack. And so what I'm trying to say is I think the bigger you get, the bigger the target you are. Yes. You know? And so I don't, I, I can't sit here and tell you that I would want to grow to that point because right now, everybody that's on my, my following are mostly very supportive, loving, da, da, da. I haven't hit that spot yet where they start attacking me. And it's probably a good thing because I have a little bit of a temper and I'm like, going, I'm not just going to let you be a, a keyboard warrior. I'm going to find out where the fuck you live. And we're going to have a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm that bitch. I'm going I'm to talk up. about it. I, yeah, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull up. I'm going to ask you, what the hell is your problem? Telling me I'm fat on social media. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I tell Lynn all the time, Cause like Mama Ty, you know, I've met her before and I was like, everywhere she goes, like she's bombarded. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think I would ever like that. I mean, I uh, like meeting everybody whenever people see me in public yeah. now, but yeah. it's like one or two, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, they'll be lined up to see her and I'm like. Well, I go back to saying some days you want to be around everybody and some days you don't want to talk to anybody. And I have been at campgrounds before to where, like you said, the first two or three people I meet, you know, I'm like, oh my God, hey, da, da, da. But if it like the whole, my whole trip, it goes on and please don't be afraid to approach me. But then it, it almost gets like, sometimes I just don't want to be seen. You know what I'm saying? I just right. kind of want to blend in, you know? And it's not, and it's not that I don't enjoy it. Right. It's my anxiety. That's it's, me. It's, yeah. It's not, I love to meet everybody. Yeah. I just, I get nervous. <laughs> me too. Me too. Me too. But and you, you get, know, what is it? let me tell you what happened. So... When I tell you, Adam Hart is loyal, he's loyal. When Aww. he, when he, I know, Adam, you're afraid, aren't you? 
when he claims that. you, he is very loyal. So we started posting on YouTube on for the podcast, and this little bitch wanted to <laughs> there and talk about me. And she didn't do it just once or twice. She did it three or four times, didn't she, Adam? And yeah. she got me to the point where I was I was crying. I Lynn told was him, crying. I said, no, we're not doing I, that. I said, I don't <laughs> think I can do this. I said, because she, what she said was, you don't need Lynn. She, you're funny yeah, without her. Did, you don't need her. They didn't, she didn't want me to do it with Lynn. I was like, what you don't understand is if Lynn ain't on it, I'm not doing it. Cause she's the exactly. one pushing me to do it. Cause I don't give a shit about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, exactly. I mean, you know. Well, and so let me tell you Lynn. Lynn. Go ahead. Sorry. And he went and blocked her. He yeah. didn't care. That's where the loyal comes in. He Good was done. Adam. I said, Adam, you need her. He said, the hell you say. Good for Adam. <laughs> Good for Adam. We need friends like that. But I want to tell you something, Lynn, that'll help you out with stuff like this. Because like I said, I really hadn't had, I mean, probably a handful of people come at me on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and Facebook is a little different environment. They'll come at you quicker on Facebook than they do TikTok. It's crazy how, how it switches. But I want to tell you something, and this is the best way I can help either one of you out if you ever get that negativity. Because not only am I funny, I'm very wise, and I attribute that to my dad. But you have to think to yourself, who are the people taking shots at you? Are they the ones above you? Is it the affiliates? Is it the, the you know, all these famous peoples that, you know, that, that's on there? No, they're looking up. They're looking for their next stage. They're not looking down at you. They don't care what you're doing. You're behind them. The people that are targeting you are the ones down below you, the ones that are behind you, the ones that are jealous. And they're looking up and they're seeing their next target. If they can take that person down or get them to stop posting or get them out of the way, then they can move up. And and you just have to look at them and be like, you're below me, so I'm not worried about it. You know what I'm saying? You, right. you down there, I'm up here, I'm not worried about it. Because the only people that's going to take shots at you are the ones that's below you. Right. And even the ones above us, Ophelia, any of them, any of them, they're not, they're not looking down, no. down on us in a bad way. They would help us if we needed their oh, help. Yeah, right. yeah but, I'm not yeah. saying that. I'm saying more oh, like. Oh, no, no, no. I know yeah. what you're saying. I'm just saying, so those people I look up to. Yeah. I probably could take constructive criticism from them all day long. It's these, oh, Lord, that one just got me that day. I had just about had all I could take anyway. And she just kept on. And it's like she. Like, oh, maybe they didn't see the first comment, so let me do it again. Let me do it again. Yeah. But of course, Adam doesn't check it because, and let me go ahead and tell you, if y'all waiting on Adam to respond to all the messages on YouTube, it ain't happening. Yeah. Because I don't have you time. Realize, too, you know, Adam, you know, he's, he's like I said, if he's running multiple platforms and he's got, you know, hundreds of thousands of followers, it does get, like I used to think when I had 20, 30,000 followers, I would think, my God, is it's no problem to respond to everybody. Just be kind and respond. And I miss a lot of people now. And it's not because I'm being snooty or it's because you can't catch them all. You know, you can't see okay. them all. You know. And that's like across yeah. all of mine, I've got over over two million across everything. Yeah. And it's like, and then <clears throat> I mean, if I just took hours out of my day to do it, I could. Don't get me yeah. wrong. But I work 50, 55 hours a week. Then yeah. I got the all these animals out there. Then yep. I got a husband. I got, you know, to spend a little time. It's like, I can't, I can't. And, and social got, media and, is not my job. Yeah. I mean, I do make a little extra spending money. I'm not going to act like I don't make no money, but that's not my job. That's not what my bread and butter is, you know. Exactly. Exactly. <clears throat> and exactly. then he's got me Bridget, and I keep him busy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we are coming up with stuff. And you know, like, Adam told me when I start, when I had like, oh, 10,000 followers. And I would say, he'd say, what are you doing? He'd call me when he's going home from work. What are you doing? I said, oh, answering bad people. He said, I'm telling you, when you grow, you're not going to be able to do that. Oh, yeah, I will. And then we got to 20. You know, I was doing good. And then 30, I was doing good. Well, we're almost at 40. And I can't answer everybody back. So I need to just get 40 because I want to answer everybody back. <laughs> no. And two, okay, I'm going to flip the script and be the interviewer again with y'all. So how did you guys meet? Have y'all known? Who not the hell gave her permission to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all we could control break. Okay, so can, can I tell this story? I no, want to tell this story. Go first. Me, Let I go first. You tell your side. Go ahead. Yeah, because you lying, you asshole. Okay. <laughs> so, um, being in the little town I'm in, we had a little girl. Um. Her name is Mac. I was just thinking how I wanted to do this because I'm sure people will watch this. Anyway, her name is Mac. 
Mm -hmm. She forgot her lie. What? I said, you forgot your lie. That's what you was thinking about. Yeah, I know. <laughs> her mama loves to watch us too. Anyway, so Max at the time was maybe five. I don't know. I could be wrong with that. Five or six. Anyway, she showed pigs. Well, my friend had introduced me to Adam's TikTok because she was like, I know you're down and out. This guy's so funny. Oh. You're going to love it. So I was watching him. Well, then I realized that he showed chickens or he had chickens. So I tagged him in Max video. And then he went and told his people that Matt was trying to get a pig and they helped her get a pig. So I messaged him and I'm like, here's my number if you want to call me. Well, he called. <laughs> he used to say I stalked him, but he was the idiot that called. <laughs> now go ahead and tell your story, Adam. Well, that was nice of him to call. Well, it was, but he Because I'm just going to be honest with you. Somebody give me their number and said, here, call me. Sometimes I've been like, okay. And then I'd have been like, crazy ass. Yes, I ain't calling you. Well, <laughs> look, I've learned my lesson because I have talked to this bitch on the phone every day since then. Exactly. See what you did? See what you did? <laughs> I don't trust okay. nobody no more. Okay. But Bridget, Bridget, yeah. you gave me your number and I've not worn my welcome out yet. No, y'all wouldn't. I, I like y'all. I like y'all. But I have, I have, my biggest fear, and this is, I used to play iPhone games. Y'all know what the iPhone games are? You got your, your game pigeon. You can play pool. You can play oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you can play cup ball. Well, I, I used to be in groups where I could play that. And in groups, you would share your number. Well, then all of a sudden, these people would be like, they they would be like, you're not, because they'd ask for your first name. And I'd tell them, they'd say, your, your name's Bridget. Oh, wait, I follow a Bridget on TikTok. And they would send me the TikTok. And I'd be like, oh, I ain't never seen her before. <laughs> <laughs> and my thing was, I was scared they was going to figure out who I was and start selling my damn number. So I stopped playing with Minnie. I still got this one girl, Alicia, that I started playing with. And I told her, I said, please don't give my damn number to anybody. She goes, don't worry, it's good. And she's sweet, and she's kept her word. But I, I've, been, I've been like, oh, hell. And my daughter looks at me, and she goes, wait, you think you're so fucking famous that people are going to sell your phone number? I'm people a legend in my own mind, okay? Look, people I'll tell you what. If they want something, they can find it. Because one time, it's been a few years ago, we went in the mountains. Eric lost his cell phone. Mm -hmm. And this lady was really sweet or whatever. But anyway, I had posted that Eric lost his cell phone, blah, blah, blah. One of my followers called my cell phone number and was telling me, try this, try that. And I was like, oh, thanks. She's really sweet. She didn't call me no more. She was really being helpful. But I was like, I guess you really you can't really hide if the Google's around. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the truth. That is the um, truth. So, Adam, are, did did my story was my story on point, or you got some different shit to tell? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's lying about both of it because so we got we helped Matt get a little pig. Okay, they did, and um, so then she was like, well, when she messaged me and everything, she Lynn owns a little newspaper company. She don't print out the newspaper; it's online, whatever. Anyway, um. She was like, I want to write a news article on you. It's been two years later. This bitch ain't wrote the first news article. She <laughs> she didn't want to be my friend. Okay, but I included your name in the article I wrote on Mac. I did write a bunch of articles she a, on people. She put, talk, a but... carrot. she put a carrot up there and said, mm -hmm. hey. Yeah, I got a I got a uh, combined article with a little girl about a pig. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to write about you, and I'm going to put it. Yet on there. You, I'm over it now. Guest. It wouldn't make me be flattered no more. I don't care. Okay, but we've had we've had two guests and, and both times you told about it. I was gonna be on there and I didn't get an article. I swear to God. He, he See, I could have that up. little blue badge if I was in your newspaper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's a little bitter. He, he's bringing it up because he's salt deep down inside that salty wounds right there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Well, Bridget, do you have any more questions for us since this shit's just turned all the way around? Um, <laughs> are you practicing? Are you practicing for your podcast? So, yeah, I, I do have a couple questions. I know how you found me, Lynn. Adam, how did you find me? What video was it that made you say, I'm going to follow this bitch? I'm just going to be honest. I can't remember shit. Yeah. I don't remember. Um, I don't. You don't. I know I saw the one where you did that little guy with the teeth. Yeah. That one that got so many millions. I know I seen that one. But I don't remember. I would say I would say that's probably my most popular TikTok and my most stolen one. Everybody stole that from me too. And I <laughs> right. literally I was on YouTube and the guy had posted it and underneath <clears throat> it I put this is my TikTok and another person come back and said, Quit lying. 
And they making money off of you. Plus, so what is y'all's most popular? And there's my next question. What's your most popular TikTok? What's the one that drove it home for you? On TikTok? Any, any. Well, so the most, there's one, you know, I like to stitch a lot. So really I'm cheating because I get them videos that's already doing good and catches your eye. And then I say something stupid at the end and then get a bunch of views. So that's how I get my views. <laughs> well, so like on, on Facebook, now I've got one. It was where they called a snake. And at the end, all I said, well, y'all just won't leave shit alone with y'all. And it's at like 30 something million. And then, Woo! yeah. And then there's, <laughs> there was one on Instagram and it's at 20 something million, but that's, I don't even remember which one that one was, but my most on TikTok, there was one that was like at 5 million, oh, but that's good. Though. I can't even remember. I can't remember. Like, of course we're still small, but I don't think we've gotten into the millions, but one yes, of my- did. Oh, was it mom? Was it Mabel in that damn bush? Yeah, remember I told you you always using Mabel. Yeah, I <laughs> um, yes. That's how I started it was because I was in my house one day. And like I said, we lived in a duplex. She's on one side, I'm on the other. And I heard this noise outside. What the hell is that? And I, it was her just whistling. Aww. I swear, Bridget, she had took a pair of house scissors and was cutting the damn bush out front in the yard. And somebody put on their Mabel scissor hands, and so we had her a shirt, Mabel scissor hand merch. But anyway, it died a lot. But then somebody made a negative remark about her, mm. and I was reading it to her. She said, "Turn, turn that camera on right there, honey." She clapped back, and it went big. <laughs> oh, see, that's me. That's me. I, I'm, I'm like I said. I, my, my motto is, "I can be your best friend or your worst enemy. Choose, but choose wisely." Because I can. I, I can give you the shirt off my back and do anything for you. But these people that get on TikTok or any kind and they come at me, don't think I ain't coming back because I'm not sweet. I'm not. I'm not. I'm I'm very much a de in defense of myself. So I'm with Mabel on that one, okay? I'm right with Mabel right there. Turn that camera around. Let me say my piece. And I okay. noticed, too, if I ever have a viral video, I'll go ahead and tell you, I do not read the comments because they're going to say, oh, he's gay. Duh. I've been on that. Or, you know, they're just going to have all these stupid comments. So if I ever get one that's going real bad, I don't even read the comments no more. Because I'm like y'all. I'm nice, but it pisses me off, and I want to cuss you out. Yeah. And I know I can't do that online. Yeah. So, like, I just don't read it. You can you can do it online. You can do it on. I will tell you, I have noticed two things get the most views on TikTok. And it's drama. You know what I'm saying? And it's stupid shit. Like, if I did something out, Like, the other day I posted that video where I was dancing and saying my kids was like me. That shit hit like 16,000 views in no time. And I was like, that's just the dumbest shit I've ever done. And the look, stuff I try to make. And yeah, but I watched it over and over. It never does anything. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. the reason I kept watching it was because I could just hear the sarcasm. Like, oh, my God, she's just like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a message. But, it was a message. It was letting everybody know. You might not like me, but if you, if you love my kids, you love me somehow because I'm in them. Right. Um. <laughs> But I will say, um, with Mabel doing her little clapbacks, that did get us followers. But and that was great and wonderful. But the joy it brought to, brought to her to yeah. clap back because she said, "Why is people being ugly? They don't even know who the hell I am." And and that's just what they do. But Adam will tell me all the time, Lynn, you can't worry about what they say. Hmm. But let me tell you. Bridget, if you ever got somebody that made a comment and you're trying to guess if you should clap back or not, do not call Adam. Because Adam will say, well, what they were probably trying to say was this or this. I always they... see the positive. Not well, me. Yeah, that's I'm, me. I play devil's not... advocate. I play. De I always try to see the other person's side. Me I do too. Do that. But I do that with everybody else, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad about it. I, I do it for but everyone. No, Adam has clapped back before, sometimes with your gay stuff. Like, you're like, real, uh, I love the one, Adam, when he's like, me? About gay? No. Da, 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 I could get more. Mm -hmm. Now, wait, <laughs> now, wait. I'm going to tell you, the whole Adam being gay, that, that to me is up for debate at this point, the way he was looking at them big old bitties the other day. Mm -hmm. He was a little too intrigued with them things. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> that was an old video. What? It must have been an old video. Yeah, yeah it come back up on my feed, though. Uh, it's funny how the old shit pops back. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I was like, I was like, I'm gonna have to get him on that and just ask him, is he sure? 
I I feel, when, if, some, if a girl hits on me, I'll be like, now I ain't scared, but I may not remember what to do. It's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been that person in a minute. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you know, Adam, I mean, I'm just being real with you. I know you say that people will get in your video or your comments and say you're gay, you're gay. I, I did not think you were gay the moment I saw you. Like, I, I didn't, I guess I'm just not into, I mean, it's you when just, I opened my mouth and a purse fell out. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the lipstick and all, but I'm just saying, I don't, I don't, I, I just, Maybe I'm just not looking at but people. But you know, like if yeah. somebody says something about being, to me, that's not an insult. Like, can you're beyond I, that. I can take y'all with me. You can. Okay. <laughs> my dog's got to go potty right fast. But you know, I will tell you this. I have I have noticed this. If you, if you, okay, like you got a lot of these people get negativity. If they respond to it and that person you get their, more you, they, their five seconds of fame, it's like they're bombarded with negative, negative, negative. I think it's better most. And then of the you time. get caught up. You have to keep doing that. Yeah. Well, that's it. And so I think it's better sometimes just to delete it and move on. You know, just delete it yes. and forget about it. Because I think the I more just block. Yeah. Well, and and you know, we've talked. Me and Holly talked about that. She's got a couple friends. Like I had one girl that I followed and um I can't think of her name off the top of my head. Katie. Her name was Katie Pachotsky or whatever. And she we were mutuals. That people attacked that poor girl right and left. Every chance they got, they attacked her, you know, being a mother, how she was being a mother. How, and she didn't do it like Alex did. Now Alex will clap back, but she'll let you know she's in charge, that you ain't bothering her. But right. Katie did it in a way like you made me cry. You did this, you did that. And they just, they tore her to shreds. So she's finally, she's not even on social media anymore. See, that's crazy. No, it's And I, sometimes I have clapped back before, but it's if I can make it funny. Yeah. If I can make it laugh and I'm not being ugly to that other person mm -hmm. because that ain't what I want to do anyway. But if I, they say a comment that I think is funny, you know, like then I will do it. But he I'm said, not I don't doing want to be ugly to that other person. God forbid be mean to somebody who's being mean to you, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm that bitch that'll pull up <laughs> we gotta we gotta have words we're gonna have to come i'm so non-confrontational oh no i'm not i am confrontational as hell let's meet like if me and eric he, he'll always tell you it gets on his nerves because if we've ever been in a fuss i just sit there i'm just he like he won't say nothing he won't fuss back no <laughs> Glad. i mean they're not gonna argue well eric might argue but not adam i just yeah. listen okay yeah <laughs> Oh, I know. I like a good fight every now and then. It gets some steam off. <laughs> Area. I literally ask my husband if we've been getting along too good for a while. I literally cause an argument just to just to bitch about it sometimes, <laughs> just to get it off my chest. He's like, "You're just wanting an argument with me this weekend, ain't you?" And I said, "You damn right, I do." Let's. let's go. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, well, Lord. this has been so much fun. We could just go on for hours and hours, sure. couldn't we? Yeah. I guess y'all just means you're going to have to have me on another show, right? We are. We're going to have to get you back on and get Holly on when y'all get y'all up and going, too. We could yes. do that. So we can, we can, so we do can that. spread y'all. Next Not time, I'll make sure I, I come up with more questions for my interview with y'all, okay? See, yeah. I love when y'all ask questions because I just sit here and just, till I have something to say. <laughs> <laughs> we did tell our people y'all might want to do this too because it was kind of fun we did tell our people on youtube um they could ask us any questions so i would get the questions off and then on the next you the next podcast we would do it that was fun wasn't it adam just to yeah. answer questions if we ever run out of stuff to do yeah so mm -hmm. now when will this show post um hold on wednesday. one second at my calendar because he doesn't know he doesn't know. wednesday he said wednesday um you know what wednesday's correct yeah i must have already told you adam we do it on Sundays and Wednesdays. Yes, but she means when will hers post? Wednesday. Okay. <laughs> you don't usually know that. Usually you're like, when? Because <laughs> we did record one last night, but it's for Sunday. Because we want you to go on like ASAP. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Because oh. they're going to love this. Oh, well, thank you. Look, Lynn, Lynn, we had our first guest, um, Phil. I don't know if you follow Phil on TikTok or not, but anyway. Then after that, Lynn was like, oh, we got to have guests. It's like, she couldn't just talk to me no more. I said, bitch. <laughs> well, that's what me and Holly was talking about. And y'all might consider that too, because people can, uh, uh, there's a thing I've got to research it more where people can call in. On here? Yeah. 
and ask questions. Yep, yep. They can call in and ask questions. I don't know exactly how they do it. I think you give them like a dedicated line or number. I don't know. I'm going to have to research it more. But they can call in and ask questions, and you could have several guests on the show that way. So maybe one night you could be doing, you know, uh, I don't know, a subject about something, and everybody could call in and chime in and put their two cents in. Only thing I worry about is when you're doing it live like that, you gonna have some pervert on there that's going. As soon as they hit the screen, their wanky's gonna be out, and it's just gonna skip the whole show. You, know, you got somebody out there like it. I'm telling and you. And see, that would mess up my because I don't edit. Like this is at an hour and twenty minutes. It's gonna be an hour and twenty minutes because I just download the bitch and post it. Yeah. I don't have time to. You know, some people edit and make stuff look so good. I don't have time for that. Yeah. Yeah. Which you'll probably be one of them that does that, won't you? I don't know. Probably the way I like to micromanage stuff. I've got to learn to just let it go. Just let it go. Like See, I just said. don't know how to do it. So no, no, know. no. But you know why you need to let it go, Bridget? Because if you edit it, you're changing who you are. Just do the shit. Yeah, just true. do the shit. True. But if you do not follow Phil Godby, that was our first guest. Do you not follow Phil? Never seen you him. You need to look him up on TikTok, Phil Godby. He had, we discussed his uh, weight loss journey. Okay. He had a uh, I guess the gastric bypass. Yeah. Anyway, he has, um, I don't know how him and Adam met, but I think I met him through Adam, but he has children, two little children that are just precious. Anyway, he's just, he just loves it. I mean, he loves to TikTok, but he's, um, he says one day I'm going to be big. Like you and Adam, I said, well, baby, I'm not as big as Adam. Like I'm way far from Adam, but he loves to do it too. But his journey on weight loss is very good to watch. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I'm, I'm proud of anybody that's willing to go through the gastric bypass surgery. I wanted to do it. Um, luckily, I've gone on this Monjera and I've been able to lose weight without having to do that. But I wanted to do that surgery, but I was always too chick chicken shit to do it. I mean, I just, it's not that I might going under the knife, but when you start rearranging my insides, it kind of scares me, you know. Right. So I, people mm. will always say, oh, they took the easy way out. No, it's not the easy way. That's, mm -hmm. that's the hard way to me. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. because and literally you are sick. forced, you're forced to lose weight at that point. There is no choice. And I, I'm the type of person, I'll do anything as long as I have a choice. Right. As long and as I like have Eric, an out. Eric takes that we go be shot and he had lost a lot of weight last year. And then he was like, oh, I want to enjoy eating again. So then he like quit taking a shot. Yeah. And gained his weight back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. But when you use that surgery, that's it. You're, you're screwed. You got to go with it. Yeah. So how long have you been doing the um, shot, Bridget? Mm, uh, June, June made a year. So this is August 12, 14 months, something like that. And, and I've lost 60 pounds. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah, you can ask Adam. He's been following me a while for a while. He knew I was a little butterball before. <laughs> we all <Yeah>. love butter. <laughs> <laughs> so I did see a couple of your videos back because i went on some of your tabs that you had up there yeah. and i clicked on them, and then i had to like do a double take like wait a moment because i didn't think <laughs> you you're really the thought was that bitch was really that fat holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> um before i got sick i was right at 300 pounds and i lost like a hundred and a lot of weight what, um what'd you get sick with so in december 2019 i got sick with a sinus infection yeah and pretty sure it was covid um and for like mm, probably about nine or ten months i couldn't eat without just shitting everywhere how about that i do that now i got ibs though why well, if i eat a cracker um gotta go <laughs> oh that's right that's look right. if my employees if they see me eating they say Oh, well, he'll be in the bathroom in just a minute. I'm like, y'all don't worry about my stomach. But you know the bad thing about it, when, when I have to use the bathroom, it never fails that it hits me when I'm in the damn car and I'm in traffic. <laughs> Every damn time. It's like, does my body not? I think it just plays tricks on me, like, watch this shit. You know, let's see what she's going to do with this. Because that, that, those have been some of the times I've actually shitted on myself, was in the <laughs> car and I couldn't make it back. <laughs> and, and, you know, the other day, my... um. My son said, we were riding around, and, and he was like, oh, I think I need to go to the bathroom. I said, oh, my God, I need to go back home because I'm thinking of me, you know. He's like, oh, no, Mom, I can I can hold it. I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. I wish I could. No, they ain't no <laughs> holding it. Uh-uh. No. He's a, he's a truck driver, and so he has this mentality, you got to go, 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 and you can't stop, right? And he's got a, 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 he uses an Arizona jug to pee in, 
and he's got a portable <laughs> toilet in his in his truck and he uses the bathroom in it bags it up and then the next stop he'll throw it out you know you throw it in the trash or whatever but i'm sitting there and we'll go on vacation and i'll be like honey i need to use the bathroom really bad and he'll say to me he'll look and he'll go okay well i'll be at such and such a mile marker he says mile marker because he's a truck driver we'll be such and such a mile marker in 30 minutes and i'm like 30 minutes you gonna have shit all over this damn truck in 30 minutes you better find somewhere to stop no ain't no 30 minutes see i'm bad on road trips too because i pee a lot so we're going to stop every 20 minutes and I'm going to pee and get me another drink. And Eric said, if you'll quit drinking, you'll quit peeing. But get I'm scared Arizona to death that I'm going to be pee in it. Arizona. I'm scared I'm going to be thirsty. I always got like two or three drinks for me. <laughs> I, that's me. I mean, I, I, I do that too. That's what my husband says. My husband's like, if you, if you just quit eating and drinking, we can get where we're going. I said, yeah, if you just stop, we'll be all right, too. <laughs> <laughs> right. I ain't in no hurry. <laughs> I mean, you're on a trip. You want to eat and drink. Yeah, he don't yep. know that. He don't, Everything's go, go, go. Oh, okay. Well, um, this has been so much fun. I did realize it's 730 my time almost, and um, I got to feed my child, and then the Bachelorette's coming on. I got to watch that. <laughs> Next time, carve out more time for us, okay? Right. You know what? I didn't realize that you and I was going to be able to talk as much as we did. Poor Adam hadn't hardly got to say nothing. I know. Well, I knew this was going to be a long one because I knew both of y'all like to talk. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to leave y'all with this and then I'll shut up. My daddy told me when I was younger, he said, if you'd ever find a job making money running your mouth, you'd be rich. Now, I found that, but I still ain't rich, so I'm waiting on that to happen, okay? (laughs) You're on your way. You're on your way. I'm headed there, yeah. (laughs) Well, I love you guys, and thank you for having me on the show. I love y'all. I love y'all. I hope I didn't disappoint. Uh Uh-uh. We had fun. We had fun. Hey, Adam. Uh Uh-huh. Thank you for the rose. (laughs) Smell so good. <laughs> That's it. That's we it. want to do it so bad, but you know, we can't. I was telling you last night on it. I'm like, the girl that says lightning bolt. I'm like, I watched her for 30 fucking minutes doing that. What the hell? You do get drawn into it, though. You do. Every time I see one, I stop. I think it's the dumbest shit I've ever seen before, but I'll literally sit there and watch them and be like, damn. What's I, I, next thing you know, I've been in there 45 minutes, and I've been throwing coins at them left and right just to get them to do shit. <laughs> I ain't never did that. I don't know how to do it. I'm not either. It sucks you in for sure. <laughs> well, all right, y'all. I enjoyed it. Um, all right. Y'all ain't got your podcast started yet, have you? No, we're going to launch it sep- uh, September 1st is what we're hoping for. Okay, well, we'll tell and them a different time. Y'all here first because we hadn't even posted about it. Oh, okay. Well, I'll see something to give you, tell them where it was at, but if you ain't got it yet, I can't do that. Yeah, we ain't even got it set up yet. I've got the name and everything, but I told her I didn't want to start the YouTube and let it sit there idle for three or four right. weeks. I wanted to be able to post something right away. Right. I understand. All right, y'all. Well, we enjoyed it. Thank y'all for watching. Remember, this is our new podcast channel. This is not my personal page anymore, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. Because you won't get as many notifications on this page as you do on my personal page because I post all the time. Anyway, bye, y'all. Have a good one. Bye.